Hello there! Don't we all wish that Disneyland was in our backyard? This past weekend, my family and I were invited to Dave Shegog, a professional architect's home in Anaheim Hills, California. In his backyard, he built a scale model of Disneyland. So, let's go. Hi, and welcome to Castle Peak and Thunder Railroad here in Anaheim Hills, California. We're here at our friend Dave Shegog's house to see his model Disneyland. We have an Indy and the Forbidden Eye model here, even with the Jeep out front over here too. And next door we have a waterfall with the Incredibles. Little tree house here. You have what? At the Tui. You have Monsters University here, and all the Inside Out characters down there. And this is the model of Walt's first railroad, the Carrollwood Pacific. Even a scale model. And here's the big reveal. Ta da! Main Street, the castle, and we have Splash Mountain and Honda Mansion over here to the left with Thunder Peak in the middle. If you get a low angle here, we can see a cast from Toy Story, Meet the Robinsons, Big Hero 6, Chicken Little, and over here to the other side of the Mickey Floral, we have like Pinocchio, the Aristocats. Why are the villains blocking the entrance over there? To see behind those yellow cones? Why are the villains blocking the entrance? We're here getting a side angle of the, the train station, Splash Mountain, Haunted Mansion, and the castle. Yeah. Dave was telling us how it's a challenge to find all the little minifigures either online or in the store to incorporate into the project. So he incorporated the cast from Coco and it looks like Jack Skellington and Sally are in there too. You can see them right in there. So everything's not exactly to scale as the park. You have Haunted Mansion and then you have an area of Merida over here. And then next door is Pride Rock next to the his mountain called Castle Peak with uh, Sorcerer Mickey on the very top up there. Dinosaur here, but he's not chewing on anything. And you go on to like Moana over here. I know the lighting's are hard to see right now. Oh, here comes the train. on we have Rapunzel's Tower and looks like Peter Pan and Pirates of the Caribbean and a funny Nemo look Jack Sparrow down here with King Triton here comes the train again and then crossing the bridge we have Casey Jr. with uh, Carl Fredrickson's house behind him and we have Belle and the castle in the back too they've even incorporated some hidden Mickeys in here so look you see it the red one right there that's a hidden Mickey. Dave already has a Haunted Mansion, a castle, a Splash Mountain, Casey Jr., a Beauty and the Beast area, a Beast Castle, Big Thunder Mountain, but what's next? He plans to build Star Wars Galaxy's Edge with 
a little hint to the past, and I'll let him tell you about it. This is what it's going to be. And I'm kind of glad, because Galaxy's Edge wasn't at Disneyland at that time, and so we reworked the model to get a Galaxy's Edge in it. But uh, basically, this awkward, that's this area right here, and so this is all gonna, this is all gonna get ripped out, Okay. and this, it will be a big concrete shell that is built up to the top of that wall, and this is Casey Jr. That's the line right here. Parked over there. Then on the next level, this is going to be the mine train through nature's wonderland, and it's going to go around and become Rainbow Cavern, so it'll have an insight component. If you walk around the corner, which will be right about where that little tiny tree is there, you'll walk around, you'll go through the store, and then you'll go in underneath, and you'll be in the underground mines. And up on the... I haven't finished this part of the model, but the train will travel through here in the dark with a black light. So inside will be four major waterfalls, and it'll all be uh, a mist. We'll cover just like the misters we have going over there. They'll all be inside, so there'll be a blanket of mist over the whole lake with a little train going through it, and the waterfalls coming. And it, anyway, it's going to be the best part of the whole thing. So his plans are to build Nature's Wonderland with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, with a past, a present, and a future kind of feel to it. If you're ever wondering how to see this, I will post his website down below here in the description and you can see possibly when he'll have an open house in the future. I want to personally thank Dave and his wife Francis for opening their home and inviting us to see his project. Thanks anyways. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.